So they are really going ahead with, with more legendary servers again, huh? Okay. You listening? I mean, I can't really blame Standing Stone Games. If they can make the same thing over and over again, why wouldn't you? People are going to be stupid enough to pay or play the same thing over and over again. But what's the difference between this server and all the others? Well, Mordor and Angmar will have Nazgul's on it that you can fight and gain titles. I mean, the true reason why these servers were made is so they can actually test out the, the, the major lag issues they've been having for quite a long time now. Now that every time that they do a maintenance check, they the next day they do a downtime the day afterwards they've done the maintenance. But on top of that, will they have changed anything else in the game? Like the instance loot? Difficulty in the dungeons that need a boost? No. But you get to fight Nazgul's! Fuck yeah! What is this? The level 130 repeatable days? But Rising Fawn, you get titles for killing them, so you can brag to your family. Hey Dad! I killed the Witch King! Are you proud of me now? Listen. If you're playing because you've got nothing better to do, fair enough. I'm not going to tell you you are wrong for playing a, a new legendary server. But at the end of the day, what will happen is people will level up, they'll fight the Nazgul's, they'll gain the titles, and they'll fuck off. And SSG will count them how much money they've made in the first few months. Instead of adding new features, how about you fix and tweak the game? Give the landscape some love. Give the instance loot some love. Make the instances that are easy or give quest dungeons have a tier up, tier up option or a vote mechanic to make them tougher. No, I'm not saying go down the delving tier option route because that shit is crap and obnoxious. However, just make them better. But to give people incentives to, to do the harder versions of an instance by buffing the loot's stats. So you're more likely to use the gear. And, then it, and also have an excuse to do these tougher instances. Like, I want to do Tomb of Elendil at like, you know, tier 3 or something. So it feels difficult, and you're not just ripping and tearing through the mobs so quickly. They just need to do better. But at the end of the day, I'm sure these new servers will create new friends, new memories, or maybe it will go down the, the route of the Bombadil server and shut down after a month because of the execution of that server was bad and toxic as all hell. For those of you who don't know what the Tom, the Tom Bombadil server was, it was a, a PvP um, server. It was... The, the basis of it was Elrahil and Eladan, in their free time, want people to challenge each other on the landscape. And you can either join the Elrahil faction or the Eladan faction. The problem was, this caused a lot of complications. For one, people couldn't level up with anyone else that wasn't in their faction. So that made raiding and fellowships impossible. Also, I remember from memory there was a level 31 high elf who in the first two weeks of that server would be in the Shire bullying low level people. It's, you know, the Shire is like seriously low level. And the last few days of that server's life, that same level 31 captain was still killing low-level people. No wonder they didn't do a PvP server after that, because firstly, the execution again was poor. Sure, the Bombadil server in reality was only supposed to be out for a month, but 
I'm pretty sure the reason why they haven't done anything like that since is because it was a terrible idea. Or at least could have been a good idea if they actually thought it out a bit more. But anyway, I'm sure people will have a wonderful time when the, the new servers come out on the first. But at the end of at the, at the end of the day, it's still going to be the same crap that we've already played again with no changes. I just wanted to put that thought out to you before the serve comes out. I don't know when this, uh, this video will be out. Maybe it will be out before on the day when it, it is released. But the, but the point is... Do you really need to play this server? Because it's been advertised by Stanley Stone Games. Because they... Because they need the money. I imagine that's the reason why they're doing it. Not just to test out the new servers, because apparently the new servers are really good for the, the the low ping. But that's only because it hasn't been released into the masses of the people who will join. We'll see when it comes out. But the point is, do you really need to play this server? Why not play something new? Or an old game that you haven't played in a long time? For me... I've been replaying through the Crisis series, and I've been loving it. I'm currently playing through Crisis 2, but I honestly prefer Crisis 1. A lot more fun to it, and the sandbox to the entire game was very enjoyable. So, when this server comes out, or, you know, think about playing a, a game that isn't. A Standing Stone Games title. Go play something new. You might actually enjoy it. Anyway, that's all I've got to say for the moment. Take care, and good night.